are playing with fire. What are you on about? I can't ban Debbie from going to Lisa's for dinner, can I? No, because then you'd have to tell her why, that the moron sitting opposite her is her father. Have you said anything to Chris? More to the point, have you? What's happening? In the news. Nothing. What do you think I should wear when I go to the Dingles? Well, I'd go for overalls and wellies if it was me. They're not likely to ask you, though, are they? <laughs> I'm devastated. You can't wear that. Why? Well, it's too... skimpy. <laughs> skimpy? You sound like my dad already. I'll definitely wear it. What do you call this? Toast. I scraped the mould off the bread. You're pulling my what's it? Come on, give us a full English. I didn't expect you to be staying, so I haven't catered for you. That's right. So get that down your neck and bog off. What time's post, you? It's been and gone. Weren't they not for me? No, Pep. What do you want me post? I was hoping for word from Japan about Stalley. You're not still fretting about that blessed tortoise, are you? Sam, they're not going to stick it in a padded envelope and send it over, are they? Huh? I bet I'll never see you again. I tell you what, we'll nip over the factory and we'll email them and see how she's getting on. What, Mr Pollard might? He doesn't need to know. <laughs> he must do this here toast. Tough. You struggling with that, darling? You let your old Uncle Shadrach help you shift a banker or two. You touch that and I will pin you to the table. I'm clemmed. You can't, you know, get and just leave it. Ken, I don't want you acting daft when Debbie comes round for a dinner. Because she can like it or lump it. Dinner, did you say? That's right. A great big roast dinner. <laughs> Homemade chicken with all the trimmings. And you'll be sat hot and bus station, deserted. Scraping chewing them off the floor to fill your rotten guts. Oh, Shadrach, you better make yourself scarce. I told you we've got company coming for dinner. I'm company. I want to make a good impression when Charity comes with her daughter. What daughter? Debbie. Charity hasn't got a daughter. Never mind that now. Oh, Sam, you better neck one of them chickens. What's up now? I don't want to eat them. But I told you they're for the table. Come on, it'll need plucking too. It's not right. Oh, you can see he's a sensitive lad, Lisa. Oh, that's as maybe. I've got all these veg to do. I'll do the bird. You? That's the least I can do. Now, don't worry, I'll show it due respect. This'll do nicely. You know, you don't have to go if you don't want to. Why should I? Well, I thought you might have said you would, so as not to hurt Lisa's feelings. Of course not. They're a right laugh. Sometimes. They're your family. I know. So why are you dissing I'm them? not! It must be me, then. You think I'm going to show you up, don't you? <sighs> Look, Debbie, if you can impress Chris, I don't think you'll have a problem with the dingles. Bet you're only coming to keep an eye on me. And who said I'm coming? They invited us both. No, Debbie, I'm just dropping you off. I know why. It's that cane, isn't it? You're scared he's going to go on about you being a stuck-up cow cos you live here. Yeah, that's it, yeah. He's right and all. Shadrach! Shadrach, where have you got to? You took your time. I thought I'd do a brace. A what? You don't want to run short, not when you've got company. You intend on staying, then? Very nice of you. Right, well, uh, stuff is on the side. You best stick them in. All oh, right, champ. Hiya! <laughs> I hope you like chicken. Oh, she'll eat anything. Uh, you have a good time, right? You're not staying? No, I can't. Oh, come for a drink at least. Shadrach's here. Yeah? So we'll have your lunch ready. And if Shadrach and Kane get too much, you give me a ring, right? I'm not a child. Oh, we'll be fine. Just ignore them. You'll be all right. Of course, why shouldn't I be? Come on, Lubbock. He murdered Viv and Kathy. Who did? My Uncle Shadrach. 
Any more acetations like that and I'll see you in court. You killed me ends. Two of him. It had to be done. Here. All your tonsils, you soon get all of it. Never say I don't do now for you. Do you want one, sweetheart? Have you got any stronger ones? No, we haven't, and you're not having one. <laughs> all the more for me. Drunken old git. Take the notice of him. Should I tell you the best day of my life? Finding out after 20 odd years that he wasn't my dad. Aye, and it was mine too. What's up with you clocking me all the time? I'm not. You old perv. It's just that you. You remind me of someone. Who? I don't know, I can't think. J Lo? Who's he, Jed Lo? The Dragon Ball man from Skip that. Nah, I can't be. Is he thick or what? <laughs> Aren't you going to carve then, Sammy? Eh? It's quiet, isn't it? Now, Debbie. It won't be where she is. Joseph was never really one for spontaneous chatter, was he? It's just his age. He's, he's a bit thoughtful, reserved. It's not surprising, really. With his mother dying, all the changes here, probably wonders who he can rely on. Listen, I'm sure in a year or two you'll be great friends and you'll realise that you've always been there for him. I hope so. That's why it's important we get on with adopting Debbie. You know, the sooner she knows where she stands, the better. Don't you think? Well, we all need that. Oh, oh that's the nicest bit of bird I've ever tasted. Murder, eh? Back then, a bit different up at the church. It's all right. <laughs> Our charity thinks she's a lady muck since she called Chris Tate. Still, she always was, I know it. Kate. Okay. That is my mum. Well, you got my deepest sympathy. And Chris wants to adopt me. Oh, that's nice. Nice? I'd rather have Shadrach for a father, and that's not saying much. You think you're really cool, you, don't you? Yep. I know why you fancy yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cos no one else will. <laughs> you have got a right gob on you. Two guesses where she got it from. I don't suppose adoptions can be hurried. I don't see why not in this case. It could be more straightforward. But you hardly know Debbie, really. She's charity's child, for heaven's sake. You've got a lot of time to catch up, haven't you? Yeah. I'm not suggesting you abandon Debbie. Yeah, well, I should hope not. But... I think you should consider all the factors. You've pointed out the factors. Debbie would have spent the rest of her childhood in care if she hadn't come to the village. And no, I wasn't thrilled to find out that she was Charity's child, but I've had time to reflect, and I can see how important it is to Charity. We have to adopt her. There's absolutely no reason why we shouldn't. It's not as if her father's going to return from the grave to claim her, is it? Leave the washing up, look. No, what? Wash yourself. I'll do it. You? I'm a new man, me. You'll put more crud on the pots and you'll get off. You can grow spuds under your nails. Take the notice of it. Take more than washing a few pots to get your feet under the table here. So, Smiler, where's your father? Six foot under. And what was his name? What are you on about that for? It's family history. This class has been denied her dingle birthright. Sounds like my dad. Oh, no greater compliment could you give me. Look, I remember Charity getting caught out. Not surprising, anything with trousers on. Shadrach! No, I thought she got a shot. Well, I'm here, aren't I? You are. So, I thought I might know your father, you know, be able to fill you in. Help you come to terms with your tragic loss in your life. You're the only thing that's tragic around here. That'll be charity. Well, what about the washing up? Um, I'm just going to pay my respects. Hmm. She will be pleased. Right, Shadow. Hi. You've done that now for yourself. So have you. Debbie been all right, has she? Oh, she has. Proper little princess you've got there. She even wiped the scowl off Kane's mush. Who'd have thought it, eh? You, ending up in a big house with a big car, 
and a lovely daughter. Yeah, born lucky me. Didn't look that way when you were a teenager. I thought you'd turn out a scrubber. Look, just we just go and get Debbie. I even had to warn Kane off. Because he had a soft spot for you, didn't he? Can't remember. Oh, look, if you won't go and get her, I will. What's the rush? She's spending time, quality time, with her father. You've had too much sauce. Nah, I don't think so. It warms me out, though, to see how those two have taken to each other. You haven't said out, have you? Oh, soul of discretion, me. Besides, you know what that lad's like if he thinks someone's been behind his back. He doesn't bear thinking of her. Shadrach. Have this. What's that for? For being the soul of discretion. No, we weren't trying to blackmail you out. No. Uh, keep quiet about it, for Debbie's sake. She's got the chance of a fresh start. Oh, there's a few of us could do with one of those. Hey, do you know what someone who keeps tortoises is? No. Herpological, if you must know. So you've had a good time then, Debbie? Great. She's been smashing. Good. Can I stay a bit longer? No, I was always doing tea. Oh, I'm stuck. Debbie! What's the brush? What, you scared you might get contaminated? Oh, go on, pet. You know you're welcome any time. That's right. Home from home, is this? Not for you, it's not. That reminds me, where's the uh, family money pot? Oh, so you can dip your paws in it? No, I just want to contribute. Where did you get that? Huh, ink's not still wet, is it? You uh, haven't divvied up yet, have you, Kane? Yeah, mind your own business. I always taught you to pay your way. I've only got a fiver. Give it here. Meet me. Give it in, you little tea leaf. Hello, Lisa. You little git. Big get. Two of a kind, those, apparently. <laughs>